He's really hugging the fucking sleeves. I've been doing a lot of arms. Have you been doing arms? All day, every day. I just started doing arms again. All I do is arms. I could probably zoom in on that. Yeah, zoom in on it. And, and make it look good. I don't know about that. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Why follow you sound so on, sexual, dude? Follow me on. Oh my God. Follow, dude, follow me on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube. Son of my you got a MySpace? You sound like you're ejaculating. Follow me on. <laughs> Busted nuts. That's gonna be ASMR of like silent mic jacking off. Do you think they have lifting ASMR? Like one. Come on up. A, like really quiet metal dropping. Clink, clink, <laughs> clink, I like that sound when I hear like weights clanky in the back. You like ASMR? No, just like the the sound of a gym. Yeah, I don't mind it. Would you listen to ASMR if they have it for the gym? If I if ASMR gave me like a vibe, I would. Because I heard you're like like everything else. Like you're kind of a responder or non-responder. What does ASMR stand for? No clue. Uh, audio. <laughs> sensory. sensory. Masturbation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and no, but like something with these sounds. I think it's the opposite of nail scratching on a chalkboard. It's pleasant. So that's yeah. pleasant then. Yeah. But there, these sounds are supposed to give you like a fucking what? People, so you know, uh, I don't at, get it. At the house, you have the, the like the rain noise and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. fall asleep to people eating, people chewing, yeah. whispering. Stuff and I like think that. goosebumps. Wow. If you get goosebumps, the only time I get goosebumps from audio stuff is like a, a someone that's fucking singing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah, singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you're singing, yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah, the, only, the only time I get goosebumps if I like really have to take a shit and like I'm on the toilet and it feels really good, right? Yeah. No. Or I, I never got goosebumps, goosebumps from every a shit. time where. If I'm, I'm if I around. <laughs> if I'm yeah, if I'm watching like a fight, and, like, oh, and, yeah. like, oh, and I'm just inv- yeah, yeah, yeah. envisioning myself like being the yeah, fight, yeah. or or really good speech like a fucking Denzel Washington. Oh, Remember yeah, the yeah, Titans yeah, yeah, or something? Yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. that'll get me I a little love, fired up. I I cry from those sports oh, yeah. movies like Friday Night Lights. Dude. Remember the Titans? Those movies? I cry man. in so many. Movies. Coach Carter. Coach Carter's good. They make me cry, man. No, Coach Carter's good. I don't like sports movies. What? The only one I liked was Radio. I just feel Radio's bad. really good. Radio. Radio. You don't like sports? Movies? Radio's good. Remember the no, Titans? It's like I don't like watching sports. I mean, watching sports is okay. Uh, I like UFC. Just go play. Like, like all these sport movies are the same. But it's the underdog story. And it's all underdog the things, story, all the and then they get to the top, and they either win or lose. No, no. Okay, so remember the Titans was awesome. So good racism. It, yeah, it was racism. It was so about good. it was about the segregation period. Yep. And remember Titans was, was good. And it was about like the white kids not being able to hang out the black kids. And then yeah, the okay, coaches okay, dynamic, period. and then the little girl dynamic, and yeah. then the, 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 the two stars become me, best friends. Clarify, dynamic. And, then, and the black coach becomes like the white kid's father figure. It's dope, yes, dude. I don't so scratch no. my head unless it itches. I don't dance unless I hear music. We will not be intimidated. What's that from? Remember the Titans. Okay, so <laughs> old movies, old sport movies were cool. The new ones that come out. All oh, you don't like Air Bud? Get some taste in movies, kid. I'm not cultured. Is that the one with the dog? <laughs> he makes the eighth grade basketball team. Oh my god. Okay, do you think they would ever have <laughs> What about the underlying tones there? Do you think they would We're ever the have the same as the animals? Do you think they will ever have a sports movie that say like remember the Titans for lifting? Oh. For powerlifting, would that be even as good? I don't know about that, but I uh, I watched the Ronnie Coleman one, the new one on Netflix. I it was actually it. Yeah, pretty decent. Really uh, it was cool it. that they read back into, into some of the older videos. Some of those older videos are so iconic, but no one will watch them anymore because they're so slow. Which like his, his his YouTube videos, but or his iconic, YouTube? Like when he has like a plate of chicken, bro, and, and just barbecue, barbecue sauce, the whole KC fucking thing yeah. on to top. To see someone eat like three pounds yeah. of chicken in one sitting, you're like yeah. that's a lot of dedication. And he's just like a happy guy. Yeah. Like he's just putting on his Kevlar vest. That's a five X. Like, yep, going to work. Yeah, you know. Oh, that's amazing. It, you know what it is? It's because, like, the fitness industry trains so much. Like, when we, I mean, I'm not as old as you guys. I'm not, like, an old fart or anything. Like, oh, by you. any means, right? Thank wow. You. You're so like, you're not 25? No. Oh, okay. Oh. You're not 45? No. Oh. But I grew up in the time when, like, oh, I got into fitness when we didn't have YouTube, when we didn't have, like, the only thing we had was magazines or those super old videos. So that's what we looked up to. And that's what I, like, I want to be a bodybuilder when I got into it. I wanted to do, like, Watch those videos, and those yeah. were like the videos that inspired me. Looking at like Johnny Jackson, uh, who's the guy that he trained with, Branch uh, Warren, yeah, uh, Branch, Branch Warren, all, like all those crazy videos, right? But now, and it's not anything bad, but they they have all these like super pretty guys or the yeah, super yeah, yeah. jack techno like, music in the background. Yeah, like and they're, it's they're completely. Are you talking shit about Gymshark guys? <laughs> like Matt Ogus and Chris Lovato, David Lane. Matt Ogus is a legend. No, so people like that, 
right? They're they're good. They're, <laughs> they're really cool. They're really cool guys. I like them. And I would want to look like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then like now you have it's all about looking good, being good, nice cars, this that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's more of a lifestyle. It yeah, is true. they it's don't more give a shit about the training anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. movie I was gonna bring up that I haven't watched, I believe it's called Transformer. It's about the Matt Croc, Janae Croc story. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and I, and that's different, but I think it has lifting involved, and obviously talks about her journey through her own life, but yeah. her own eyes, but also through training and, and the experiences there. Um, and so that might be the type of movie that might make it in the fitness industry in terms of like there's a real underlying story going on and real struggle, real struggle beyond just a big bench press, you know. Yeah, so yeah. That, I haven't watched it yet, but I heard it's really good. It got insane reviews actually. Everyone says it's really good. Yeah, like you know, like I, I write movies with like JK and stuff, and since we have a gym, access to a gym. And I'm in the sport of powerlifting and like it's such low hanging fruit to write a powerlifting movie. But the hard part is kind of creating a storyline that would stick for 90 minutes. Yeah. yeah. So I, re I, really, yeah I really want to. But, and I think it would kill in the fitness industry or at least maybe for like the powerlifter and stuff because they just you see powerlifting on anywhere they go crazy. Yeah. It just yeah. has to be well done. You know, there's so many bodybuilding movies that are kind of floating around Netflix and stuff. And I and all of them are very mediocre. If you ask me, um, me you know, some of the strongman CrossFit ones. I've seen a lot of them. The and, documentaries. Yeah. And the stories about them just aren't in depth. And that's what our sports are missing. If you ask me. Where What's the movie? Numero uno i don't know it's the one that it's like i, I thought it was just like another like generation iron or something but it's a legit movie with like some like really high level actors and it was uh callan von mogers in it playing arnold oh yeah yeah it's oh, about cool. it's about weeder yeah yeah i uh, never watched that that might be uh, uh that's our, like a legit movie. chance yeah, yeah yeah but even a documentary or a legit movie i think it, it'll take a, a very unique story yeah uh, and and powerlifting at least even bodybuilding in the scheme of things is very new compared to other sports you know, yeah. basketball has been around since the 20s and 30s. The NBA has been really popular since the 70s, where powerlifting has been cool for 20 years or less. But it's also yeah. not as big as any right. of those. So then, so then the options on cool stories are less. Yeah, yeah. There's I mean, just I less think, people involved. Well, with any, I mean, you could make a cool like golf story that I don't give a shit about golf, but I would watch. No, 100. percent I never played football or anything, and I absolutely loved. Uh, remember the Titans? You yeah. know what I mean? Or yeah. uh, but it has great stories. There's exactly. so many storylines. Yeah, I you, you have to capture people with the story, not the list. So many good themes too. I think with powerlifting though, it's hard because it's literally in the same spot, just doing the same movement, and then the training and everything is the exact same. You yeah, know? we would have to find someone struggle through life or struggle through something else, and then. One of the things that I really liked, uh, this wasn't even a movie or a documentary or anything, but this is back when uh, there wasn't much fitness on YouTube yet, but they showcased, I think it was a, a prison in Texas or Arizona. Yeah, yeah, they powerlift. I yeah, saw yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It's a great I thought video. that was dope. Where it was <laughs> like yard? Yeah, no, but it's, it is. It's like a real, it's just like crappy, like Nokia 3 yeah. phone footage. Yeah, and uh, but it was a lot of these guys that were either going to get into even more trouble in jail or now they can all train and lift together. Yep. And guys repping 400 on the bench. And it came yeah, gave them, for each other. Yeah. Gave them a positive outlook. And then they were like, man, like this is like the most positive thing I could have ever done. And I yeah, thought that's cool. that'd be a cool yeah. story. That is, that is if they went deeper into that or, yeah. or, or, or somehow you, you, you push to implement that in a lot of different prisons. I know they took weights out because, uh, at least in California, they're I don't beating know up yeah. the guards. Yeah. Or a budget thing. Who knows the politics behind it? I, I, I'm not aware of the system enough, but, uh, multiple layers, but I think it would be a cool program to implement uh, at a lot of places and teach some teamwork and camaraderie. And I, I think like, if you look at when we got into powerlifting or like when we started like barbell or you started barbell, um, but like that aspect of it and then powerlifting now, it's more of a vanity sport. Who's stronger? Who's this? Instead of like that whole, like I'm cheering for you to get stronger. We're like, it's literally an individual sport and that's maybe what it taught them in powerlifting or in uh, prison. But it's just like, there, it's, it's therapy for you when you go to the gym, lift heavy, do this all like time after day after day and stuff. Yeah. But it's like, for me, at least I think, there was different lifestyle goals I wanted to pursue instead of like lifting heavy all the time. But also I think the sport in itself kind of is changing now. It definitely is. And you can be really united by the fact that it doesn't matter the weight. Hypothetically, let's see you deadlift 600 pounds, but you gave it all you got. And I only deadlifted 315, but I gave it all I got. There's a united front there that we just went through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that's what you were talking about. It used to yeah. feel that like, yeah, bro. I hurt. Yeah, I hurt too. It's not, oh, bitch, I deadlifted twice as much as you. I hurt worse. Yeah. And that's kind of a mood that, that some people bring to it now. Yeah, and that's one of the things where, like, uh, when, when you're talking about, like, gym talk and bro talk, when you're in the gym, I actually like talking percentages because they're like, oh, man, I got 70% five yeah, by yeah. five. Then I actually relate to the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus someone 70% might be 135. The other person might be, like, 
seven hundred. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter though because we're putting in kind of the same effort, not exactly. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But like, it's like you kind of relate more because everyone kind of knows what the seventy yeah, percent feels yeah. like or fifty percent feels. Or same like. idea of like kind of putting it on the line and competing. Like whether you do good, bad, bomb out, who cares? Like no, no, no. I I know what it feels like, bro. Throw that singlet on, get in front of everybody. Your nuts are hanging loose. Like it's awkward. You're you're you have judges all over. You don't know what you're doing. Like my you, nuts never hang loose. Uh, are they? Tucked away. Tight? You got tight nuts. They're tucked away like the the wheels of an airplane. Was we, were you we had competing had a, we had at a, a cold gym? No, they're just always like. We had oh. a shoot for the uh, <laughs> veterans collection, right? Yeah. Uh, and his dick kept popping, not popping out, <laughs> but like sticking straight up, and it kept ruining. So he went in the back room, those grabbed tape. Silk, you know those silky shorts that we have? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, it, they're just too uh, too sheer, so things just like you know. No, I don't know. They take shape. It's like saran wrap. I've never saran wrapped my balls. No, I've never, I can't. Imagine putting saran wrap on your nose. Like, it would still pop out like crazy. Uh, is that a nose joke or is that no, a comparison? It's a comparison to saran wrap. I've never saran wrapped my nose or my penor. What's your penor? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, imagine this. <laughs> so, like, say I want to cover it, right? It's, it's yeah, you shape. pop a pitch a tent. But every every, every yeah, 12-year-old and older male knows about pitching a tent. It pitched a tent, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't look good for camera. Oh, yeah, So, he went not. in the back room. Did you tuck it? Oh, you taped it under? I taped it either up or down. I forgot how. I oh, the, taped it with the duct tape, though. Yeah, yeah, a tuck. Yeah. A little tuck -a So then it looked better? So it just didn't show. It looked smoother. I looked more like a Ken doll. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. a mannequin in Macy's or something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Devontae gave me his uh Wait, choice. what? <laughs> Why? He doesn't like... Oh, because his just hang past His him. would hang out. <laughs> oh, man. That's a, not a problem I have. But <laughs> I knew some guys like that. So, like, those are the proper uniform in boot camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when we do PT, that's what and you wear. And their tip came out. I've seen tips. I've seen balls. Some guys got some big dick and balls. And they're just, they're just <laughs> what um what uh what underwear is is do they make you wear whitey? You don't wear, you don't wear underwear underneath them because you it, just wore silkies because it has this yeah, underwear yeah. built in. There's oh, lighting. it's a net in silkies. Yeah. There's this guy uh, in my boot camp and he was like this Native American dude yeah. that had a stuttering problem. Yeah. So uh, his name was G -G -G Griffin. Oh my god. <laughs> and and because his last name was Griffin and he would be standing there and then his dick would always just be hanging out the side. What well, I, I feel like, like a drill sergeant this, would say this, something. This recruit request permission to use the head like and it was just it was just like the fun I'm just standing there like his at attention out. and I'm just like fuck I hope I don't laugh I hope I don't laugh <laughs> his dick's out he's stuttering <laughs> how's the Funny drill story. sergeant not laugh or say something they they I think they are laughing like yeah. later on <laughs> yeah I bet they just have to hold their bearings there and I'm sure afterwards they're like sharing stories are they like really good at being like stern all the time 100% yes and really they won't break character good. uh if they do, so they have like that Smokey the Bear hat, the campaign cover. Yeah, yeah, they like You'll see them down. tilt down. And they'll be laughing. And you'll see their shoulders. <laughs> like yeah, like could I make it through boot camp just being a comedian? No. Oh, you'll, you'll get, you, yeah. Yeah, you'll, yeah. You'll, you'll get fucked. Yeah, Will you'll they beat up. me? Old, old, old core, yeah, but, but nowadays yeah. different. Well, like once if I just keep making them laugh. They might kick you it's out. It's hard, it's hard, dude. It's but really say hard. I want to get kicked out. And do they kick me out and send me to jail or they just kick me out? They like, probably my, just kick you out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they'll... It's your ability to make them laugh will not outlast their ability to torture you. So if you're like, oh, you want to be funny, motherfucker? Here's a 40 pound vest. I yeah, want yeah. you to keep doing high knees. And I'm just like, woo! -hoo! And you can do high knees for like. Yeah, but how long could you do that? Minutes, yeah. 10 minutes. What if I don't do the high knees? No, no. They'll, they'll start yelling at you. You have yeah. to do them. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to do them. And I'm then out. you could be doing them. Cause I, so I got into shit with one of my Call drill instructors. Way better. Yeah, dude. Way less training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got, <laughs> I own I got into shit with my uh, drill instructor and I had to do jumping jacks for four hours straight. I'm out. And he was Damn. like, because uh, the it was the day before the Crucible, which is like the thing where you kind of earn the, your title of a Marine. And then, uh, and he was like, I'm going to make your fucking kneecaps pop, motherfucker. <laughs> and he goes, you're not lasting tomorrow. What were you doing? Just pissing him off? Just being a dickhead? So I don't know what happened. This was like another, uh, like it was like a range event. And for some reason, he thought I was making fun of another drill instructor. Uh, so he was saying that there's this other drill instructor that was there. While he was talking and giving orders and instruction on how to shoot, I was on the side like going, like be, like being like Anchorman or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that's something I would never do. But also in boot camp, they do frame you for random shit to give you an excuse to torture you yeah. just to see what you're made out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little mental game. See, yeah, I can't play so, mental so games. They, so they play mental games all the time. And then I'm like, this recruit, like I was screaming at the top. I was like, this recruit did not do that, sir. And he goes, oh, you want to be a fucking liar? You're going to be doing jumping jacks until you fucking admit the truth. And I'm like, I'm never going to fucking admit that. admit that. So I'm doing jumping jacks for like four hours straight. I'm like, fuck, what if my kneecaps pop? What if I don't make it through the crucible? Then I'll get cycled back. And then I'm going to be one of those guys that's stuck in boot camp for like six months. Dude. It was tough, man. You made it through, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still, I still made it the next day. I was like, fuck, this is tough. Jumping dude. jack god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They call them side, side straddlers. Uh, it's not even called jumping jacks. No. Nothing's like it used to be in the old days. A good old jumping <laughs> jack. <laughs> I don't know what the topic was of this, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yeah. Um, we'll probably get to a topic on the next episode. Probably not. You guys can enjoy... 
His little biceps. His little biceps. 12 inches. That's pretty good. Updo. All right, guys.